grab a booth and enjoy one of our oversized salads or our freshly cut hot deli sandwiches. We're open seven days a week where the coffee is always hot and freshly brewed. Broadcasting from the basement of La Penta, this is WICR. Hi, I'm Chris Stefano from Guy Code, and you're listening to WICR. What's up? What's up? Welcome back to Throwback Thursdays with Chelsea T. Mario Rodriguez. What is up this morning, darling? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, you can hear me? I can hear myself. You can hear yourself? No, I can't hear myself. Whatever. It I can't hear myself when I'm with you. But I hate it. But I hate it. Okay, I'm not <laughs> singing anymore tonight, this morning. Baby Jesus, this is gonna be a fun show. Welcome back to Throwback Thursdays, where we poppin', talk about poppin'. the latest and greatest in news and entertainment. Mario, welcome to Throwback Thursdays. What's up? How you doing, Chelsea? I'm doing really good today. Doing I'm even really better. Good? I'm do- even doing even better now that you're here on Throwback Thursdays oh with my me. Oh God, makes you feel so good. It's that kind of morning. Makes so really it's been a while since we've been on the air, and there's a lots to entertainment news to talk about. We have a lot to talk about today. Let's talk about one of the biggest trending headlines right now in entertainment and on E! News right now. You're going to be upset about this. I'm heartbroken over this, actually. Um, Gigi Hadid and Zayn Malik get serious about serious. their relationship. The, you, some people make their relationships Instagram official. Some people make their relationships Facebook official. But in this case... He confirmed it. Zayn Mal confirmed it. He was chatting with um, Zach Gang in the gang. Zach Sang in the gang. What a name. Is it, that is, is a name. Zach Sang and the gang. Interesting. About his super sexy pillow talk music video. And he, Zach Sang said, was it cool to have your girlfriend in the video? And Malik responded, uh, Yeah. That was oh. cool. It was something. We enjoyed it. It was fun. <laughs> and then the co one of the co-hosts followed up with the second question. No one easier to make out with than your own girlfriend, right? And Malik said, exactly. Oh my God. This one for it. This, this one for it. This is t- we need now we need to start make, like defining relationships. GTR define their relationships in different ways now. Radio interviews <sighs> and in really sexual music videos. Mario, what do you think about this? I don't know. I mean, oh, Gigi, she's just so beautiful. Like, she's gorgeous, honestly. Like, I didn't watch the video, but like, I know like how she You've looks. You've never honestly. watched the video? No, just because I, when when Zayn left One Direction, honestly, it really broke my heart. He he shouldn't Ooh. have left. Ready? He shouldn't have. More entertainment news on that. Oh. He's releasing his new album the day he left One Direction, March twenty fifth. I want to say. That's so petty. That's it's so petty. Hella petty, but mad petty. He's throwing so. Like, have you listened to the song? Which um, one? Pillow song? Talk. I've like listened to it, kind of, not really like, all the words. Yo, so. I'm trying to get that song on the air, but that's definitely not happening. It's about extracurricular tech activities. Oh, the fun kind. The fun kind that cannot be distributed. Oh, I own a college in <laughs> WSCR, or else the marriages will go. This is a Catholic college. This is a Catholic college. <laughs> it's enough that I got away with Mary Screw Kill with Joe Santagata the other day. Yeah, Jersey I, Joe that was, was hilarious. You I, watched I, it? Yeah, I watched it. I told you I watched Aww. it. It was hilarious. Things. That was really fun, but yeah. wish you were here, but mm, mm. that's none of my business. Okay, <laughs> wrap this story up. Pillow talk is just overcoming my emotions right now. It, honestly, it is my new What Do You Mean? What do you mean? Dun, 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 and you know how dun, much I love that song, too. Yeah, that was on replay every day. It was on replay here, and it's on the playlist right now for WICR on Spotify. Follow us. And I just... Th- this is now when I'm in a relationship, which is probably never going to happen because I'm very career-oriented, like Jack Breslin. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, shout I, out. Shout out. Love him. He's my professor right now. You need to make your relationships Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, music video, and radio official. So 
future, dear future boyfriend. You got to come on the show. Mary, what do you think? Wrap it up. Uh, I just don't like social media. But, I mean, you do have to make it official on every type of social media for it to be actually official. Well, so, yeah. Yeah, that is that is the, the verdict, as they say. That, that is the verdict. We should do a verdict to every story now. The verdict. Boom! Boom. Mind blown right now. Okay, next story. We'll talk about the Kardashians because we always talk about the Kardashians here on WICR. They're always in the news. They're famous for no reason. And that makes me question what I'm doing with my life. We'll do one more story. Then we'll go to break and we'll listen to some throwback music. Um, This is just in. Tyga was partying with Scott Disick, Chris Brown, and some models. But not Kylie. This is from PerezHilton.com, by the way. Previous story was from E! Online. Love those two sources for some good entertainment news. On Tuesday night, Tiger threw a party at his place. A ton of guests were there, including Scott Disick and Chris Brown. Chris Brown, if you see me, I see you. Um, <laughs> there, there were some models there. They are pre-gaming. Us college kids like to say pre-gaming at Tiger's house. Kylie was not there. And Scott Disick was trying to hit on another woman. What? And then they went to a club. They went to oh, One Oak okay. in L.A. for the at 1 a.m. and the bar closed. The club closed at 2 a.m. So they only there for an hour, and then they went back to the Victoria Argentina would like to say the Kiki, the Kiki. was at, that's like an after party, like a, like a calming after party. Is, is that what it's called, the Kiki? The Kiki. And, and this, this is what <laughs> this is what Victoria Argentina. This is what you get for not living next door to us anymore. Oh, oh my Anywho, here it's like once a week. I feel. Right? Probably. And some of the girls went back to Tiger's, and Kylie wasn't there. Oh, boy. Kylie was not there at all. That's not good. That's. How do you feel about this? Because I'm feeling some type of way. I want to hear what you have to say first. I feel, I mean, Tiger. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. I mean, I don't agree with, obviously, the Kardashian at this point, but we talk about them so much on the radio. Mm -hmm. You just have to. They're everywhere. Indulge in it, I suppose. But mm-hmm. um, Kylie's bad. <laughs> you love she's Kylie. Bad. She's just so sexy. So you can't just, <laughs> you can't be messing around with her like that. I think Mario's trying to high key hit on Kylie Jenner yes. on the air right now. It's our one viewer. Shout out to our one viewer. Shout out to the one viewer. If you're Kylie Jenner, which you know, is probably not going to be. If you are, please <laughs> call me. Call into the studio. <laughs> <laughs> the, the number to the studio is down below. <laughs> But I'm feeling some type of way about this, Mario. Why are you feeling some type of way about this? Because Courtney Kardashian and Scott Disick were in the process of getting fixing their relationship, especially for their three kids. There's little baby Rain, there's Penelope and Mason, and all. My, I'm all about family and bringing families together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I am feeling some type of way about this because I don't agree with cheating. I don't agree with adultery. I don't agree with that. So she and my new Scott Disick. But at the same time, but when it comes to Tyga, Kylie isn't even 21. She can't even get into a bar unless there's like the 18 plus events. True. So like Kylie, high school raves and stuff like that. Exactly. Like the well, Posh is now closed, but like the Posh, you can go there at 18 <laughs> Posh, and like yeah. chill oh, and crap. Those are the days. Like not so Netflix <laughs> and chill. But I wasn't going to a bar at 18. I can't even say that with a serious face. Um, <laughs> pretend. Well, pretend. I didn't go to bars at 18 years old. So, why would you be dating a 32-year-old? True. Tyga is 32 Tyga's years old. 32. He's 32 who looks oh like he's God. younger than you. Yeah, he looks young. I think he's younger than hell. With the tattoos, no. But, like, he looks like a baby. Yeah, he And does. yesterday, I do follow Kylie on Snapchat before this fiasco happened. This fiasco. This fiasco. Um, <laughs> Tyga was all up in... Um, Kylie Jenner Snapchat. So oh, really? uh, this is like aggra- this is hella aggressive this right is now. This is just publicity at this point. This is publicity yeah. to wrap this up. Final thoughts on the Kardashians consuming our little brains. Kylie call me. <laughs> Final thought. Final thought. The verdict. <laughs> Kylie has to call Mario on the air now. <laughs> it's okay. It's cool. I I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I don't agree with cheating, so shame on you, Scott Disick. Yeah, Tyga, agreed. you do you. No Kylie, you, you, she know what she got herself into. She got herself into a kid with Tyga and a 32-year-old, so you get what you give. So uh, on that note, we'll be right back. BRB. Touch on the flip side, guys.
W-I-C-O.